Hi filmmakers, Jason Brubaker with Filmmaking Stuff talking to you from sunny Southern California. Today I want to talk to you about the concept of leveling up your filmmaking career. Now this is a huge philosophy that we share over at Filmmaking Stuff, but bottom line, what it simply means is you start wherever you're at and you find the next tier, the next step in your filmmaking career that you're progressing towards. So let me give you an example of that. Maybe you're somebody that's just right now making your first short film. At that point, if we were talking about different levels in your filmmaking career, that is a point that you're at where you're about to gain some experience and start to build your craft. And after you do that first short film, uh, you probably take it out to various film festivals, you meet a few people, and then maybe after that you make a few more short films, you get better, you repeat the process over and over again, and that might eventually lead you towards making your own independently produced, no budget, backyard indie. At this point, you go out, you use the resources you have, you always keep a safe set, but you use the resources you have to produce a fully finished um, feature film. And then after that, you get that feature film into the festivals, you, you do some hobnobbing, you meet some people, and next thing you know, maybe you do two or three more backyard indies. And then after that, you start to build a track record and your network gets more expansive and your experience grows and, your, and with your experience comes confidence. And now maybe you start approaching high net worth individuals to, to potentially invest in your bigger scale feature film. So you get these high net worth individuals, you raise some money, now you start working with talent that people have actually heard of, different actors that have name recognition, etc. And then you make that film and you get that in the festivals and now you start doing the whole distribution song and dance and you start building some relationships there and you make some deals there and now maybe you do some sort of hybrid type um, investing type thing where you have some high net worth individuals working in conjunction with you know some sort of film distributor that's doing some sort of negative pickup deal on your film and then suddenly you're playing the game at a much higher level and then that gets a whole bunch of recognition and then next thing you know maybe you're getting hired by the studios so i know i'm packing a lot in a short amount of you know time here but i want to make this my big point here is it doesn't matter what level you're at right because we're all in this together and we're all looking to move to the next level and like look maybe you're just happy making backyard indies i know plenty of filmmakers that do that uh, heck i know plenty of filmmakers right now uh, i know one guy in particular that's been making shorts for the last 20 years and he just likes making shorts and his shorts are really really good but the thing is only you can decide where your ambitions are going to take you and no matter where you're at right now it's okay and no matter where you're headed it's okay but the thing is if you are headed somewhere beyond where you're at right now get a clear vision for what it's going to take to get there and I'll be talking more about this leveling up philosophy in videos to come. So if this was a little bit, you know, short and sweet, that's okay. I'll explain it a little bit further. Uh, I might even have some graphics to demonstrate it. Uh, until then, uh, take action and make your movie now. And um, by the way, if you like this filmmaking stuff, I, I keep saying this, but there's a link somewhere around here or a button. Click on that. You'll be taking a page. I'll ask you for some information. And in exchange, uh, I'll supply you with some filmmaking stuff. Um, I guess I already said until then, take action and make your movie now. But anyway. Way, go do that and if you have any comments I love to hear from you uh, just leave them in the comment box below okay take care